Hello everyone, I'm back again with another video and this time we're gonna look at a new uh, flagship from Huawei. Um, this is the Huawei Honor 6. Uh, this is the latest flagship uh, that's released, currently not in the Singapore, but this phone is um, cut flagship specifications but is priced quite decently. Um, to quickly go through the uh, design, it pretty much looks like an iPhone 5S uh, with rounded edges and uh, a metal trim kind of uh, finishing. This is actually plastic uh, and the back is plastic as well, but it, you get a feel like, like a glass. And uh, it's a 5 inch full HD phone, uh, comes with the uh, Kirin High Silicon 920 uh, with the octa-core processor and 3 gigs of LPR DDR3 RAM and 3 gigs that's 3 gigs of RAM and you get a option of 16 and 32 GB internal storage with micro SD card expansion option um, it's a dual sim phone and this is one of the f one of the first phones to have a dual sim 4G CAT6 LTE on it so the sim 1 is a 4G LTE CAT6 capable and the dual second SIM is a 2G SIM uh, dual standby and of course the micro SD card slot. The, the micro SD card and the dual SIM go into this uh, little flap under here. It's not a waterproof phone but they still have the flaps. So if you look at here is the uh, SIM 1. This is side is the SIM 2 and under that is the micro SD card. Um, the build is is not that great. You feel the plastic when you hold the phone itself, but it's quite light and uh, quite thin. It's just 7.5 millimeter thick, and it's got a 3,100 milliamp hour battery inside, and it uses the LTPS IPS display. So that means low temperature and power uh, uh, IPS display, which is a very power efficient. On the back we just have the Huawei branding, a 13 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash and a front facing 5 megapixel camera uh, with the sensors here. Let me quickly open up the uh, CPU Z app and show you the configuration. This comes actually with the Huawei Emotion UI. I have currently installed the um, Nova Launcher because I'm used to the uh, app drawer and not the MIUI kind of just everything on your home screen so I'm gonna open up the CPU Z and if you look at this it's a ARM Cortex A7 and A15 cores so it's um, if you look at this it's got octa core and um, it actually beats the uh, Snapdragon 805 in tests if you actually run the sympathetic benchmarks it actually crosses 40,000 on the and Tutu, so it's one of the first phones to actually do that. Compete with Snapdragon 805, so it's as good as Snapdragon 805. And if you look at bottom, it's got a Mali T624 GPU. And if you go to the system, it's a Huawei H60 L02. It's a 16 gig variant, comes with Android 4.4.2. And uh, currently, I've set the screen resolution to run at 720p. The, the good um, thing of the screen is actually you can run it either at full HD or at 720p so if you're running at 720p you're pretty much doing a lot of power saving but to be very honest I've run this at 720p and full HD you don't really find that much of a difference when viewing maybe internally it doesn't push that many pixels but the screen looks just absolutely gorgeous either it's 720p or it's full HD uh, it's running uh, for total RAM of 2923, which is 3 gigs of RAM and internal storage of 11.4 available. And 9.2 is the available storage. Is rooted? No. And then we have the battery information. It's 3897 uh, voltage millivolts. Um, it's 3100 milliampere battery, as I told you. It's got all the sensors. It's got an IR blaster as well. Like the other flagship phones, it does have a IR LED blaster on the top to control your TV and other audio equipment at home. It's a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top and a micro USB port on the bottom. The power and the volume rockers are on the side and this side we have nothing. Okay, and going about next, uh, the battery on this phone is actually very good compared to it's a dual sim and dual standby so I have two sims at the moment if you look at here 
I've got one, uh, let me get a bit closer to see if we can actually get it to focus. So if you see here, I've got a 4G and a 2G running at the moment. So you, I'm always on 4G and 2G uh, pretty much all the time. And if I open up the battery stats, I've been on battery. I've, do, I've done pretty much heavy usage today. So I'm pretty much on 10 hours since unplugged and about 59%, so close to about 60% left. And I've used about screen time of 2 hours, 10 minutes. So it's close to about 2 and hours 15 minutes so I pretty much can easily cross five hours of screen time on this phone with dual sim LTE and heavy usage uh, probably might be a little less when you compare or uh, run it on a full HD screen but pretty much must get you a full day's charge easily uh, to work uh, the camera on the back like I said it's a 13 megapixel camera a Sony sensor and a dual LED flash and the um, it's a dual sim and the speaker is right at the bottom here it's very very loud actually the speaker is really good uh, comparing it to the other flagship phones which has a single speaker it can get pretty loud let me try and uh, play you a quick uh, probably a ringtone or something and show you how loud it can actually get um, Bump up the volume. Doesn't even actually uh, muffle the volume when you place it on so it's quite loud. The camera on the back is pretty good, it uh, produces some really good images, uh, the color reproduction is very good, the screen has very good accuracy in colors and viewing angles are also great, no problems with that and it can get pretty bright. Let me bump up the brightness to max and if you see it's pretty bright, everything's gone black, <laughs> see it's pretty bright, it's very very bright and it's got excellent viewing angles, no problems at all. Okay, let me put back the auto brightness so we don't have the problem. Like I said, um, the phone has uh, the option called ROG technology, which is currently on. So if you see this, if I press off, that means the R technology will exit and system will reboot. Uh, if I press this, it's going to go back to 1080p full HD. So if I put this on, it's at 720p. And this has got power saving options as well, like the Sony Stamina Mode, it's got optimum performance, it uh, adjusts for best performance. Uh, Smart is automatically balances between power and consumption, power saving and performance. And Ultra is something similar to the one on Samsung and other phones. It's basically going to cut off all your um, data and uh, vibration and screen brightness. And it's going to give you essential ones like just the phones and the SMS. So this is probably when you're totally around the juice bar, like say 5% or something. It's best to use this option so you can get a bit of longer life on your battery. Uh, it also has options like power management to see what is actually causing a lot of battery drain. What which app is actually uh, and gives you options like what you can turn off to just make it uh, last longer. So if you see here, I have got nine apps that are currently needs optimization like WhatsApp music is running in the background so you can turn them off so it basically green greenifies them when you actually turn off the screen that's a good option from Huawei to see and they also have application um, controlling apps like uh, let me show you here like a permission manager so you can actually individually control applications to do what not to do so for example if you see if I, if I pick up uh, the most common one uh, the WhatsApp so WhatsApp currently has access to contacts, it has access to notification, phone ID, delete contacts, make calls. You can individually customize what the phone, what the application can do and cannot do. That's really nice to have that feature because like, you know, the Facebook Messenger now can actually listen to your conversations and mic is always on. So those kind of things can be turned off from this side. That's a pretty neat application to see uh, from Huawei. 
um, and there are other options like backup and reset you, you can actually pretty much back up your data even without your root and uh, the, the thing is this phone actually came with the Chinese it's, it's an export uh, handset as in not locally available in Singapore so you don't get um, the Play Store on it you have to install manually the Google services and you can um, access all the uh, apps um, the navigation bar you can um, kind of have options to just place it down so for example if you see here in your app you can just turn off your navigation bar and then go back to whatever you have so you have pretty much the whole 5 inch estate for yourself when you want the screen uh, the navigation button just swipe up and you get it back again it's got the glove mode where you can um, touch the screen even if your hands are wet or you're using gloves um, and pretty much um, most of the features available here like I said you could also use the um, smart control app to control your TV or your um, equipment um, if I am not wrong it's this app yeah so you can pretty much control your Samsung TV or any other TV or audio equipment you can just go by adding it and then which you want to add or a custom one you can this, the, the remote is uh, can read codes as well so you can actually place another remote on the front and make it learn from that remote and you can customize the remote so you can pretty much have all your remotes on your just one phone that's a pretty nice thing to have um, that's pretty much it about the uh, the Huawei Honor 6 it's a flagship device and it's priced just at about 400 US dollars about 450 Singapore dollars it's a very very cheap phone uh, to get with these kind of a flagship specifications and it's extremely thin and feels good in the hand so this is the Huawei Honor 6 if you have any questions about this device or any functionality please do leave a comment down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can if you like this video please click the thumbs up and subscribe for my channel for more videos thanks and have a wonderful day bye